Hey guys, King Gath here, and welcome to episode 10 of my uh, forever let's play of Fallout 4 and Sim Settlements. So after that uh, horrible showing of uh, me trying to kill bad guys and getting killed over and over again, we're going we're gonna to fix my armor problem. So uh, we are heading to Lexington because I know there are several raiders there with power armor that we can kill and take the pieces, and we're going to start rocking power armor. It is time because melee plus power armor... It's going to be uh, a lot more successful than <laughs> King Gath in his overalls uh, with these fancy new glasses. But uh, yeah, that's that's the plan. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna head over there and, and try and try and collect some raider gear because I have a full set of power armor, but it's the cheaty set you just get handed at the beginning of the game, and it's not raider themed enough. So we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get some rusty metal pieces instead, and then I'll feel comfortable using it. So this week, uh, as always, I installed some new mods. I installed more uniques suggested by Kef K Ren, scrapping machine suggested by Pra. Diamond City Auto Close Gate suggested by Whiskey Jack and Reverb Ambience Overhaul suggested by Ron Buck. So, uh, as always, keep suggesting your favorite mods or ones you think I might like down in the comments. Just make sure you include a Nexus link, and uh, I will keep checking out more and more mods and enhancing this list until we uh, cap it out. And then, and then we'll probably build some ESLs or patches or whatever. <laughs> Just keep adding more until we break the damn game. <laughs> All right, so somewhere around here, there's always a raider that like nukes you. He's just shooting fat man missiles at you. So we gotta find him, and then we get the rest of our power armor. Who's there? Oh, yep, we found somebody. All right. Oh, and I almost forgot. We get to have the best time because it's chemist rank two, double the double the length of those chems. Can I have a good old jet time? Then whoever this guy is. Ooh, yep, yeah. oh, look at that. Exactly what we're looking for. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, one shot. Let's see here. We've got uh, Raider Power Torso, Helmet. Beautiful. All right. Oh, and some replacement jet. Wow, jet lasts so long now. This is great. Oh, and now I'm over encumbered. I was wondering why I was going so slow. <laughs> so, wow, it's, it just keeps the jet just keeps going. But that's not slow time. That's just slow gath. There we go. Make some room. We just need that armor so we can score some leather and stuff. Oh, and here we go. We can do some scrapping. And I'm not going to waste time picking up all that random junk to scrap. I really don't need the steel. Just need leather right now. So we need to find an armor workbench. All right, and that's still that wasn't the nuke guy. He's somewhere else. He's like on a bridge. There's like a bridge between two buildings. All right, let's keep scouting around. We're gonna find this guy, and that'll give us, because I had, I already had, I believe I had left arm, right arm, and helmet already back at sanctuary. So I needed torso, left leg, right leg. So we just picked up torso. So two more pieces to go. Oh wait, basketballs probably have leather. Let's go grab those. The floating mystery basketballs. All right, let's look to the sky for a bridge. And, oh, there it is. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, so now we need to get in here. Hopefully this guy's got some more pieces for us. Ghouls! What the hell was that? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Just your friendly neighborhood so raider. Wow! Uh how did, how did I one shot a guy in power armor? Something has changed in my load order. All right, get that hand out of here. Well, I'm feeling like Superman today. Wait, was that person naked? I was like, Jesus, do I have CBBE installed? All right, what do we got? What do you got for me? Let's see here. We got the fat man. We don't need that. We just picked up a torso. We need the leg. All right, no, that was just, that wasn't power armor leg though. Um, yeah, I don't think I need any of this. I'm going to grab... Let me check my inventory on the helmet. Let's see. PA. We've got leg left, primer torso, torso. Okay, here. We'll drop this Mark 1 helmet and grab the Mark 2. So I have not a lot of space. Actually, was that... Was my torso rank 1? No, I've got... A tor okay, Mark 2, Mark 2. Cool. So we're just one leg shy, and we've got ourselves a full suit. 
And I think another problem we gotta solve is uh, acquiring some, some more stim packs. I gotta find somebody who sells that stuff. Alright, well this is a pretty damn fruitful mission. Came over here and got exactly what I needed. It's time for Add-On Pack of the Week. This week's add-on is Wasteland Venturers by Mermarachne and Tanuvia. This thing is so big and so popular, it actually spawned a sequel. Now, the sequel was actually done because uh, Xbox players have a lot of limitations on file size, and I think the, the pair knew that they were going to have to cut that down if they wanted to keep adding more content. But this add-on pack has got everything. It's got plots of all the different types, interiors, 2x2s, two 1x1s, twos, one etc. There is something for everybody in here. There's a lot of stuff that's super immersive and friendly. There's some things that are more fantastical. There are pop culture references. Is. There's just so much in this add-on pack, and uh, it's technically two add-ons. There's Wasteland Ventures and Wasteland Ventures 2, but there's also an all-in-one version on Nexus for PC users. So definitely check this out. There's something for everybody in here, lots to dig into and find, and I would highly recommend you read through their Nexus pages to get all of the details about the different things because I'm sure I didn't even find everything. All right, well, plenty of Raider activity around here, so well, let's just start killing people. We'll see what happens. Hey, you're not a raider. Hey, a stim pack. Oh, and leather. We're picking up some good stuff here. Uh-oh. Dog meat. Come here. I need you to carry some stuff. Oh, wow. You've got mini nukes and a fat man. Oh, you know what? I think I was planning on giving all this stuff to my raiders and totally forgot. We'll let you keep the mini nukes, though. Hey, who are you? Scavenger. Ooh, let's get him all he's weakened. Oh wow, you lost an arm. He lost an arm there, bud. Oh, we got super mutants too. It's just a good old party here. Oh, oh, look at that super mutant. Look at his head. This is from Super Mutant Redux. Uh, this might have been a mistake. All right, how do we deal with this? Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Throwing hatchet probably not good enough. Improvise explosive. Let's see what that will do. Uh, and we definitely need some jet here. This is going to go poorly. Alright, let's see how that works in slow-mo. Explode, damn it! That didn't go well. Alright. Oh, here's what we're looking for. So I'm pretty sure inside of this clothing shop or whatever this is here. I think it's a clothing shop. Let's see. What is this? Backstreet Apparel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a uh, a boss in here with power armor. So we just got to hope he's got that leg piece we need. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know what just happened there, but he's dead, so I'm happy. Alright, where's everybody else? Oh. Thank you for this stim pack. Hey, what else we got in here? Whoa! That's a little late on the bark there, dog meat. Eat some candy. Mmm. Whoa! Hey there. Hi. All right. Usually, whenever there's a master lock, there's also a key nearby. Hmm. No power armored boss. Disappointed. <gasps> that guy's got power armor. All right. We need to. We need to do this smart. Let's. Uh. Oh, finally. 
Although I guess I'm, I'm jumping the gun, getting excited. No idea if he's actually got anything that I want. All right, good. Gates open. Jet. He's got a lag. I don't know if it's the one we need though. I can't remember. Yes. All right, who else is here? I know there's more of you. There's somebody. How do we get up there? It's another one of those things we're gonna go in a building again. Looks like it might be. All right, let's just go steal the power armor pieces. Come on, please be the right leg, or whatever leg we need. Or did you even, or was it just my imagination that you had a leg? Leg left, I think that's what we already got. Oh, wait, he had both, he's got both legs. All right, we're taking everything, just in case. Oh my God, finally have it. Come on, let's not die, let's not die. Let's get out of here. Oh God, we're, we're, we're over encumbered. Wait, 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 we gotta, ah! What was that? Sounded like a nuke. Oh wait, maybe my new Chinese assault rifle will take him out distance. Nope, this thing's got terrible range. All right, well, at least we're not taking a lot of damage right now. Must be the medics. Okay. I don't know what's going on with this gun, but I need to... I'm gonna have to go edit it, I think. No! There we go. Whew. We did it, dog meat. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, it was dynamite you were checking at me. All right. Come here, dog meat. Come hey, here. Come here. here. Come here. Come here. Let's see. Hey. What, what can you carry? This week's mod is Super Mutant Redux. So originally I thought this thing was just kind of a bunch of new skins to make Super Mutants stand out more and more interesting to find, but it does a whole lot more than that. It actually overhauls them and makes them more of a challenge. They're more of a threat to be reckoned with, whereas before they were basically just big giant raiders. And so now whenever I come across Super Mutants, I gotta take my time and be careful and evaluate if I should even approach them. And I think that makes for a much more interesting thing to check out. It also alters some of their leveled lists and injects a lot of stuff like DLC equipment. So overall just makes the Super Mutants way more interesting a faction and the skins they've added are really beautiful looking. So highly recommend checking out Super Mutant Redux. Oh, we did it, it's time. It's time to get that Raider Power Armor on. Raider power helmet mark two. Right leg, we need a left leg. Raider torso. All right, we got our suit. Let's get in. It's time. Oh yeah. That feels good. Whew. That took me like three days in game to pull off. Just running around from raider camp to raider camp, slaughtering everyone. Oh, this feels like victory. Doing a little victory lap, don't mind me. Sweet victory. All right, now uh, we get to do all the fun editing of it and stuff and make it more hardcore so that next time we go to war, uh, King Gath will not die 30 times. Maybe it'll just be like three times. Now that's a, I'm a walking tank. And it's once again endorsement time. So I've just got a couple of mods I want to endorse, but as usual, this is just your weekly reminder. Go endorse your favorite mods. Just click the little thumbs up button, especially if you're using Vortex. It's so easy. You just go to the mod screen. You can just pull down this endorsed menu, click on undecided, and it'll show you all the ones that you haven't uh, hit that thumbs up on yet. And then if you really love a mod, uh, you can right click it, go to open in Nexus mods and go blast them with some comments to uh, encourage those mod authors. So uh, I finally got a chance to play out, play around with the Chinese assault rifle, the, the correct one, the one that has textures. And uh, so I got to see the animations that uh, War Daddy did. They are fantastic. So definitely going to give the thumbs up there. 
And then uh, it turns out I had in I had not installed MCM through ne uh, Vortex prior. I just had it manually installed, so that wasn't showing up in the list prior. So that's a good time to give that a thumbs up. Gotta love some MCM. What else here? Oh, and then uh, Fire Axe. I finally got to see some enemies spawning with that. That is a very pretty weapon. It's got some crazy like sci-fi looking glow on the end of the axe, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. It has more of a cyberpunk feel than a uh, Fallout, but very pretty weapon mod, so we'll give them the thumbs up. And I think that was all of them in the list I saw new that uh, I hadn't already given that thumbs up to. So let's just do a quick double check. Yeah, I think we'll hold off on the rest of these until I get a chance to see them. So yeah, once again, uh, make sure you go th thumbs up those mods. Give those mod authors the encouragement they need to keep building us more cool stuff. All right, time to work on some sanctuary and we have a lot to do here. So I got a ton of new people while I was away and uh, my meters are all screwed up. So time to start building some stuff. So let's start with the easy thing. I mean, at least easy in the sense of uh, we don't have to pick anything, but uh, we got to do. We do have to choose where things go. We need some houses, so it looks like if I've got 15 beds, one of them's mine. It means I need four more houses. So I, I got a crazy number of settlers while I was gone. One of them was one of the people we picked up from from a mod. I think it was from um, settle. I want to say settlers of the Commonwealth, but I'm never sure which ones are from recruitable, which ones are from settlers of the Commonwealth. I I was told that uh, Phineas was from from. Uh, Settlers of the Commonwealth, but I don't know about this new person. So let's uh, continue our little, little extension right over here. Oh, we got one of those big giant bushes that's going to get in the way. But uh, let's see. We'll uh, let's see. If we can turn off some snap action here. There we go. We'll just kind of set settle that in right at the edge. Worst case scenario, it's got a little bush over on the corner of it. No problem. Not really going to get that neck picky, neck picky over it. All right, so that'll finish up that little little back alleyway, and then we need it. We're gonna need a new section if we want more two by twos. So I guess we. Uh, I kind of want to do put some commercial in here on Main Street, although I don't know how much commercial I'm gonna do in here because we're going so hardcore on the advanced industrial. So yeah, we'll just keep plopping in houses over here. There's one. Get out of here, mailbox. Yeah, go away. And then two. So that's three. So I need one more after that. I guess we'll just go right across the street here. And we'll leave a little way into that back. back room. We'll just cover up Codsworth, uh, his little pathing area. I don't know if I'm ever going to mess with him again or not anytime soon. All right, here we go, nice and simple. Let's let those build and we'll come back and swap building plans later if it's a problem. All right, happiness. Happiness is in a bad way right now, but hopefully that'll get fixed once we get our food and water situation under control. So let's see here. Looks like I don't think either of these have made it to tier three yet. Maybe that one did. No, still six food. So those will need to get to that, but that's because of water that they're probably not upgrading. Because I believe this house made it up to level three. This thing looks pretty impressive. All right, we got a house building here. Looks good so far. Doesn't look too uh, too crazy in the design. All right, well, we definitely need another farm. We are way behind on food. I have no idea what our upgrade situation is like, although it might get it might get resolved with uh, with enough water, but... Oh, we'll stash another farm back here. Can we stick one in this little yard area? We're going to need to mess with our snapping. Let's see, we'll turn off surface snap. And we'll just nuzzle this in right here. That could This could end up looking really terrible or really good. We'll see what building plan ends up there. All right, so now we need some water. Now there's a potential that this building over here is finally ready to upgrade. I could upgrade it to, but I'm pr up to a higher level water tier. But I'm pretty sure I wanna, I wanna make a brewery. So, oh, you know, what? we also have the option. We need all these jobs. We could just build another water plot because there's a lot of stuff to. We need a whole bunch of stuff to get all the different tiers. So maybe I'll do that. I got a lot of people now to choose from. So we just gave one job. For agricultural, so we need 
Let's see. We need a couple more jobs. Are we going to need defense? We might need one more martial plot. I think we, we can at least afford one more advanced industrial plot in here. So where do we want to stick a, a well is what we'll end up building. I guess we'll stick it stick it on the grass. We'll keep it kind of close to the, the other industrial, but it doesn't need to be right up in there. We'll just cover up this chicken. And I guess we don't want to block our walking path to get through there, so let's scoot it out a little bit. We'll get rid of this scrap. That feels good to me. All right. Oh, let's not die to fall damage. Oh, there we go. Okay, wait for a little ASAM sensor. And actually, while we're uh, while we're over here and we're waiting for that, let's check and see if some of these can upgrade. They got to be getting close. It's been quite a while, especially after I just spent three days hunting for power armor pieces. Let's see. Hey, there we go. Let's do some upgrading. All right, so we've got compost, pumping station, brewery. Let's make a brewery. And we can play around with that for a while. In fact, I'm going to, I think after that upgrades, I'm probably going to lock it down to stay a brewery for a while so that we have some time to play with it. And then uh, we'll worry about the, little, the tier three water pool later on. Oh, Alexa reminded me to take my vitamins. Thank you. Uh, I am a addicted to those things. I know they're they're basically spy bots, and I'm feeding all sorts of information to Amazon, but I'm okay with that. I've accepted my fate that most of my life is recorded by by machines of some sort by now. All right, let's get. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. We're gonna. I wonder how many of the rest of these are upgrading. So we've got two to choose from. I want to go down both paths, so we'll just pick one of these, and then our other one will do the other one. So this one's gonna be the crusher. So we'll make this one scrap processing. Let's see if this one happened to pop too. Oh man, I'm just getting notifications left and right here this morning. All my electronics are going off. Okay, this one's not ready, but hopefully I will remember to make it scrap processing when I look at the one right next to it later on and see that that's a crusher. So our brewery's almost done. Let's see, did our oil well ready to pop? Oh man, this is a hell of a day for advanced industrial. All right, so we could go crude refinery, which leads into uh, fuel depot and what's the other one? It's been so long since I played with the tech tree. You know what? I'm again. I want everything, so we're gonna just pick one and go with it. Uh, I'm gonna do plastics because I think I think I want something in that tree first. From what I recall, I think that's one that has some stuff that I really want uh, in here to get. Because I basically want to get us ultimately. I want to get us to the point where we're unlocking. The full tier and doing the the all the little quests and side of missions that you got to do in order to get the Helios One Tower unlocked because I want to show you guys that uh, on camera. I think that'll be fun. Let's see. Yes, look at all these upgrades. Oh, this is great. In fact, I wonder if our coal pits can upgrade. That would give us uh, access to the um, the power plant we need. All right, let's see here. Ceramics, kiln, crystal cavern. Uh, again, I need them all, so we'll just build one here. Might, might run into some serious power situation over here with all these upgrades, so hopefully this guy's gonna be ready to upgrade. All right, you guys are almost ready. Okay, this one's not quite ready. I need to give it some more time. It also could just be it doesn't have, I actually, I'm sure it doesn't have enough coal yet, so I'll have to, uh, I gotta go back, go over to Starlight and raid their uh, supplies. All right, let's pop in here, poke our heads in. We've got our brewery. Oh man, those uh, tanks with whatever texture mod I've got looking pretty nasty. I don't know if I want to drink beer out of those. Okay. Now I'm not going to do any brewing today. Uh, I'll probably show you guys uh, how this all works for those of you who haven't done it yet. There, there is a video in the patch that the brewery came in where I walk you through your first brew. So if uh, if you're curious how that works and you want to you want to do that, you can uh, check back through my videos. Just look up uh, the. I believe it's probably got brewery in the title of the video. Oh, we forgot to uh, intercept this one. It built a lumber mill yard. All right, let's change this over to a community well. And that should hopefully sate our water needs for the time being. Boom. All right, let's see how bad we screwed up our power now. I think bad enough that our 
Oh, this thing's still making water because our water tanked hard, which means that something that I just upgraded probably is using a lot of extra water. Oh, there's our plastic. Oh, that thing's using a ton of power. Holy crow. Oh, I bet this one's using uh, uh, water. Let's find out. Let's look at our plaque. Oh, yeah. That's uh, hitting our water a little hard. Our little ceramics kiln. I don't remember if you can open any of these to see the fire in there. I don't know. You can just see the kind of the heat wave coming off of that. I'm making plates. All right. Here's a, here's a little Easter egg. We'll see how many of you guys get this. And hopefully it'll actually work. I haven't tested it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It works. We'll, let, we'll just leave you guys in the comments to uh, play around with what, what that reference is. Um, yes, there are multiple Patrick Swayze references in Sim Settlements. Plastic plant, plastic and polymer. All right, we're getting quite the uh, industrial feel over here after that set of upgrades. But yeah, we definitely are gonna have to solve our pro power problem soon. Um, water, oh man, water's got, it's gotten real bad. So this is gonna give us 10, that's definitely not gonna be enough. We're gonna need to probably go build another purifier. So that's gonna put us at 16. We need at least 18. So let's, uh, let's just go over here and add to our purifier pile. Should have plenty of resources now. I've been off camera looting like a fiend. There we go. And I also think uh, I am gonna I am gonna get into science at some point since I'm obviously gonna be playing with power armor now. I want to get some of those sweet upgrades. Oh, you know what? I probably am not gonna have a pow enough power. Oh, I bet it's is it? I was gonna say I bet it's the power is uh, out in these, but it does not look like it. No, we got enough power to run these. Okay, let's go back over. We gotta power up our new plot for its water to work because advanced industrial, like I've said, uh, does require power for even level one in order to operate. So let's build ourselves a new big giant power pole. We'll find out uh, if we've got a yeah, that just took out the grid. So let's uh, try and connect to our main power sources. I had all the advanced industrial separated from from everything else. Let's see. Oh, and now I just took out all of our water. Oh, we need more power. Hey, but there we go. Got a nice little community well going. Love those sound effects. Thank you to Del Chupernabre. Put all those together for the Industrial Revolution stuff. Really makes those fun to be around. Okay, more medium generators for the pile. Nope, still not enough. Need more power. All right, let's uh, let's stash something else over here. I think we have yeah a little bit of power. Actually, we'll stick another one in there. We just squeeze it in between there again. Hey, there we go. Green power. And then we just got to see if our... Oh, I know our plots aren't going to light up. So the HUD on the left there, that power meter is not going to fill because I intentionally haven't... Uh, oh, okay. I think we got to we gotta change out some building plans. I got some that aren't matching the aesthetic we're going for. But some of these plots, all these residential ones I built, I have intentionally not powered them up because we have enough strain on our system right now. So I don't want to uh, overdo it with those. We're going to leave those level one for a bit. But we got to change out some building plans. These are uh, not fitting my, my scrappy aesthetic. So we're going to just do our random and pray method. Hope we get something good. The uh, My list has gotten huge. I have so many add-on packs installed now. So those of you having that issue where the, the choose building plan takes a while, it's pretty normal. Um, the Basically, the mod has to go through and double check them all, make sure that there aren't any requirements you're missing or anything. So that's why it gives you that message in the corner that says generating list of unlocked building plans. It's something I would love to resolve at some point. I might introduce some sort of caching system in the future, but it would require a pretty big overhaul to the code base. So not, not going to happen anytime soon, but eventually. Now this, this I actually kind of like. Um, no idea where they would have pulled a bus stop from and dragged it over here. So I think maybe we'll change it. I'm, I'm really digging having most buildings over here be the uh, the standard shack kit of this, like, you know, the wood, the corrugated metal, and uh, some of this sheet metal. Like, that's kind of a cool look. I'm digging it. I want to keep going with it. 
So re-randomize them all. We'll see what happens. That one I think that built over on that other block, I think wasn't too bad. I think it was pretty tall, but still had the had the right feel to it. Let's go double check it though. And it looks like I still got some room for more jobs. Oh yeah, see this is, it actually it kind of reminds me of the feel we went for with our industrial buildings more than uh, more than our homes. But we'll leave it, it still fits. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice barrier house for the corner there up toward the, uh, toward the front in our main entrance. All right, let's see here. So we want to check out, did our farm over here build? And what did it mean? They put a little pond in. That's kind of nice. Growing some mushrooms over here. We'll take that. Hey, can I not get in here? There we go. Okay, so we just need a couple more jobs. Looks like one of them is definitely going to have to be a martial plot. Our defense is in the toilet. So let's get that fixed. So I think we can add a second uh, little guard post out front here. Okay, so that'll be one. We're not going to wire that one either. We will uh, we'll come back and wire it later. I think, actually, let me check my power situation. Um, I'll try wiring it up. If, if it goes, if things go red again, we'll, we'll disconnect it. Because I would like these martial plots to upgrade. Okay, we had enough power for that, so we'll leave that. So that's going to get us plus 9 defense, and we're going to need 26, uh, 36, 43. So we're going to need quite a bit more defense still. Uh, so I guess our last two guys are going on uh, martial plot duty for now. So if I build uh, one of these, so the 2x2 two two martial plots actually give a bit more defense at level 2. So I think we'll build one of these as well. Now these tend to be more militaristic than actual, than feeling like they're guard plots, but there's one... That fits nicely and it actually is meant to pair with this one that uh, Captain Coots designed. So we're gonna snap it. We're gonna figure out how this works. Let me read the. Uh, see if I can read the building plan and see what it says. All right, let's figure out. Okay, first of all, which one, what's this one called? The checkpoint small. So I'm guessing the other one's called the checkpoint large. But uh, yeah, that's fine. It shouldn't destroy until after I select something. So we can at least read this. Snap to the far right corner of the 2x2 two two version. Okay, so cancel there. Hopefully it doesn't blow it up. All right, let's get the 2x2 two two version. All right, far right corner. So we'll assume that means the front right corner. All right, let's figure out where this guy is. So it's hard to snap in with all this stuff here. So maybe we'll build. Let's get rid of this. We have a foundation floor there, and is it snapped? Oh, we've got snapping turned off. Okay, that should be snapped under the plot, so then if I build one of these guys, and snap it to that, come on, there you go. And then we should be able to just stash our two by two, snap it right to there, and hopefully, hopefully this matches up well. And actually, we're gonna have to do a little, a little clean up here, so people have some pathing they can do. So we'll move this turret out of the way a little bit. And can we scrap this tree? Maybe not. Does not look like it. Okay, that's fine. Whoa! Little workshop plus screwiness. That's normal. Don't worry about it. All right, CBC checkpoint large. Okay, so we still are probably going to need a turret or two to uh, fill in the gaps there. Power you up. Let's see what our grid looks like. Well, nothing seems to have gone offline. Oh, we're going to... Whoa! Well, that house has got to go. That is quite the uh, quite the beast. But I'll do that off camera. You get, I think you guys saw enough of me uh, juggling through houses 
in a previous video. So next time we come back, next episode should be uh, an appropriate size. All right, so we got to get that thing to shrink or to build up. So that's going to put us at 39 defense. That should be enough. That'll be enough for some settlements. So some settlements needs half water plus food. It just might. It's not going to be quite enough to prevent raids, but that's okay. I'm all right if I have to come back here and defend. That might be fun actually. All right. So this one I like. It's uh, it's a little tall for a level one, but I guess it's no different than the raised shack one that I have. So I can't complain there. Um, looks nice and scrappy. I like the materials. Who did this one? Which house is this? Oh, pulling out the wrench. Jib's joint, right on. All right, we'll leave that one. We'll change. Uh, we'll change that one and this monstrosity. Holy cow, that thing's huge. Way too, uh, way too unimmersive uh, for for our design over here. And then uh, that should give. Every so now everybody's got a job. Our power situation still. It's fine. It's it's in the green, which means all of our stuff that we need powered is powered. Uh, we're just missing the recreational. So yeah, it looks like defense is our only problem so far. We're going to have two more upgrade again. So that's 18 and 19. Math, 29, 34, 30, 37? What is that? 8 and 9, yeah, 37. Okay, that should be good. So I think, uh, I think we're in good shape there. So then happiness looks like it's on the rise. We need to get that up quite a bit. We need that to be up in the uh, 80 range if we want things to hit tier 3. So we may need to build a recreational plot with our next one, but as long as it's on the uptick for now, I'm okay with it. Uh, I, I'm sure it won't get to 80 with all that advanced industrial. That's, that's again, one of the limiters of the advanced industrial. You definitely need to make sure you're combating after you build, you know, for every, I would say probably for every three or four advanced industrial plots you have, you're going to need a recreational plot to counteract the the negative hit that their buildings are likely to hit to happiness. But there are some of the advanced industrial that actually have huge happiness bonuses, uh, higher levels. So in fact, if I'm not mistaken, the brewery has a little bit of a happiness uh, benefit to it. And uh, so that, uh, yeah, this one's got, that's a plus to happiness. So that might be counteracting a lot of what we got going on here. All right, so I think we're in uh, good shape and place is looking kind of cool at night. Now that we're starting to see some of these buildings light up. I might need to come back in here and drop some street lamps, but given our uh, power issue, I think that's going to wait until after. That might be one of the things we do after we get our first power plant up and running. But yeah, this town's looking uh, looking pretty pretty huge here. It's looking like things are growing, partially because of that uh, monster three-story nice-looking building there, but... Uh, still, even without that, it's looking pretty cool. All right, so these uh, these Marshall plots still need to build, but you guys know that'll happen. You've seen it before, so you'll see it uh, finally built uh, in the next episode. All right, and now a note that's going to feel a little awkward when I started the video off with calling this my forever playthrough. Uh, the Let's Play is going on hold for a while, so... Uh, it is with great sadness I have to inform you that Ricardo is moving on. He has to take on another job that's going to eat up most of the free time he was using to help with this channel. And so I am left with a decision. I have to either sacrifice some of the videos that I've been putting out or sacrifice some modding time. And to me, it's way more important that I get new stuff created for you guys in the mod scene than it is for the YouTube channel. But I still would love to keep going with the YouTube channel stuff. I'm just going to need a new editor. So if any of you out there has video editing experience, you've been enjoying the series and you want to keep it going and to help me get other things going as well, because all of the time that uh, is going to be required to then take over things like the news videos and the podcast are also going to take away a little bit of my modding time. But those ones, I'm not going to stop. It's just this Let's Play in particular that takes up a substantial amount amount of time just to edit and so without Rick I don't think I can continue it so if any of you wants to pick up the reins and help me out it will basically let me keep modding at the same level I am doing now so if you want to get in touch with me you can use social media you can use you can post a comment on YouTube with how I can get in touch with you you can contact me through nexusmods.com whatever you want to do just send me some samples of video editing you've done so I know that you've uh, got the chops and uh, yeah, everybody say, please say thank you to Rick for everything he's done. He's allowed me to mod a lot more than ever before and to continue to deliver you guys YouTube content. It's been a lot of, a lot of fun, a great ride, and I wish him well in his future endeavors. <laughs>